Good morning, everybody. Hope you're doing great. It is June 18th. I think it's going to be a cloudy slash sunny weekend with some thunderstorms. Tomorrow does mark our transition from yellow to green. So I wore my green shirt <laughs> to celebrate. Anyway, I wanted to let you know and discuss two things. Number one, the devotions next week will move from two devotions to one devotion. That will be seen on Wednesday and it will revolve around, the devotions will revolve around a book or a theme as opposed to the focus on coronavirus. The second thing is the plan to move forward. Session met last night and I wanted to just say what a great session we have. Wonderful people, God-inspired, and very thoughtful. So I appreciate that so much. The meeting last night, the discussion last night, was basically influenced by two biblical passages. Of course, the Holy Spirit was there. The first biblical passage was you shall love your God with all your heart, your soul, and your mind, which is found in the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. It's the Hebrew Shema. And then the second part of that, as you know, is to love your neighbor as yourself. The second passage that really influenced session was from Matthew, the Great Commission. Go therefore to all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them what I have commanded you. So the, our plan moving forward is as follows. Number one, we had the test in the sanctuary last Sunday. I wanted to thank those who participated. We gathered a lot of great data. This Sunday, Father's Day, we will be having our usual Zoom Facebook Live, as well as YouTube Live for both the 10 o'clock service as well as the 11 o'clock service. We are doing this so we can spend time analyzing what we have in terms of the data. And number two, we want to learn some more from the second test. The second test, which will be done in the Family Life Center, will be done on June 28th. There will be the usual Zoom, Facebook, and um, YouTube services on the 28th, but also there will be a live test. Once we gather the data, we're asking people to immediately let us know. Session will be meeting again. But we are fully anticipating being able to open on July 5th. What that means in terms of the services is we will have the 8 o'clock service that day. We will have the 10 o'clock service that day in the sanctuary as well as the Family Life Center. We do anticipate being able to have the services online as well. So if you don't feel comfortable, that's fine. You can watch it online. But we are fully anticipating the entire church being able to open just in a few weeks. So I thank God for that. And I wanted again to recognize Session for all that it's doing. Again, this Sunday, Father's Day, Happy Father's Day, will be online services in both the 10 o'clock as well as the 11 o'clock. On the 28th, there will be online services and there will be another test, a second test, in the Family Life Center. Then on July 5th, um, I'm assuming all will go well, which I think it will, everything will open, 8 o'clock service, 10 o'clock service in both places. I do want to mention one thing about the sanctuary. 
One of the challenges could be overcrowding in the sanctuary because of social distancing, etc. What you might want to think about doing to relieve some of that is come to 8 o'clock so that there are more people at 8 and less at 10 o'clock. So the numbers are more spread out. But I'm going to leave that up to you. Anyway, we are moving forward. We should be open soon, fully. Oh, I'm so excited. And I look forward to greeting you in person. Thanks again for your patience. Thanks again for your care. Thanks again for your faith. Let's pray. Gracious and holy Lord, we thank you so much for this beautiful day. I thank you that we see a light at the end of the tunnel. Although truly, the light's always been there, and that's the light of Jesus Christ. I just ask your blessing upon our church. I just put walls of protection around it against the coronavirus and against the schemes of the enemy trying to get in. And I also ask God that you just be with those who continue to struggle with COVID. Be with states where the numbers are increasing and I thank you that in Pennsylvania, apparently the numbers are decreasing. Now be with us as we move into green, protect us, and guide us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Again, one devotion, which will be next week. And I look forward to seeing you virtually on Sunday and then on um, Wednesday in the next devotion. Now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you today, this week, and forevermore. Take care.